Bluetooth connectivity and wireless Apple CarPlay. If your Audi is equipped with this feature, the connectivity method is the same throughout the entire 2022 Audi lineup. To connect your device to your 2022 Audi Q3, make sure the car is in park, make sure the ignition is on, and the Bluetooth is switched on from your phone. Click phone, and from here you will find Audi MMI. Press that, and then hit pair. This is if you want to sync your contacts into your Audi. In this case, we will skip that. We will press don't allow. And it is asking, Jack has requested to connect to, to the MMI. We will hit accept. And of course, we paired the number. And there we go. We are connected. This prompt is asking me if I want to connect my wireless Apple CarPlay, in which this case, I will hit use CarPlay and yes, continue here. And there we are. We are now in our Apple CarPlay wireless. Fantastic. To go back to Audi's NMI, there we go. Now let's put the phone aside. Wonderful. Note one thing. If you use wireless Apple CarPlay, your Bluetooth connectivity disconnects and vice versa. So if you go to Audi MMI, your wireless Apple CarPlay is now disconnected. To add another device, you click this button right here and follow the same process. Let's go back. This is one of my favorite features. If you want to search for a contact, you can either type their name or write their name. J A C K. Now, if I had allowed my uh, contacts to sync into the car, it would have shown all my contacts named Jack. How wonderful. Same thing, if we want to dial a phone number, we can either press it by the buttons, enter the phone number, say it out loud, or simply six, two, six. type it there. This is where we can access our call list, if we had. This is where we can access our favorite contacts, if we had been created. This is the list of all of our contacts, and right here is the voicemail if we had it. Let's go to the settings. Enabling conference call on or off. This is where we can also adjust the ringtone and volume settings if the car was switched on. We have ringtone and message volume, ringtone volume, and microphone level input. We can also edit our voicemail number, and it even shows the data module serial number. To go to the wireless Apple CarPlay, we click Home, and from here we go to Phone and Apps, and it shows that we already have a device connected, and we go to the Connected Devices and Apple CarPlay Jack. There we go. Wonderful. Now your Bluetooth is disconnected and you are connected via the wireless Apple CarPlay. Let's go back to Audi NMI. To delete a connection, scroll down this menu, go to your connection to connected devices, press and hold telephone number one, in this case it's Jack. Now it gives us three options to either delete, store as our favorite Bluetooth device, or we can go to Bluetooth profiles. In this case, we can enable the hands-free or the audio player on and off. But for the sake of deleting it and showing it to you, there we go. Wonderful. If you don't see your car in your search list on your device, don't worry. Go home, from here go to phone and apps, and then to connected devices. From here, go to the settings, and then go to Bluetooth, and make sure you are visible. You can also be invisible or turn it off. This is where you can also turn on and off your Bluetooth player and rename your car's Bluetooth from Audi MMI 7027, which 7027 is the last four of your VIN number, to whatever you want to. Wonderful. You can also access the Wi-Fi settings from here to switch it on and off. Wi-Fi hotspot settings, you can change the name and the password 
of the car's Wi-Fi, you can also allow data connection through Wi-Fi. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Audi.